Hello there, so of course I'd heard about the Academy Award winning picture Parasite directed by the Academy Award winning filmmaker Bong Joon-ho and finally I got the chance to watch it. So how was Parasite? Parasite is a masterpiece in its themes, conflict, visuals and story. And let me tell you why. So the story focuses on the lives of a low class family leeching their way into the lives and the house of a rich family. Thus the name Parasite. We from the first shot are thrusted into the world of the Kim family. And I've visually shown the situation. Their half-basement house feels clustered and claustrophobic, forcing them to be closer. The weird position of the toilet shows their discomfort and how their need for comfort is an uphill battle. The boy Kevin gets a job as an English tutor in the rich family's house and smartly uses the rich mother's trust for American-related products for people because she believes it to be high class to hire his sister Jessica as an art teacher to teach their little son the song. Then Jessica gets the driver fired and gets her father hired as the driver. The father then gets the housekeeper fired using her weakness that is peaches and gets his wife hired as the housekeeper. This is great. The whole family now works with the Park family or rich family. Their plan worked but this is when the first half of the movie ends and then the movie has a complete tonal shift. Now one detail I noticed and love is since the Park's house is incredibly large, each family member is spatially and emotionally distant, living in their own rooms. When the Parks leave for a camping trip, the whole family decides to live in their house to enjoy the luxury, yet they still spend their time together. The previous housekeeper turns up and twist. Her husband has been living in a secret basement bunker below for about four years. The housekeeper then gets to know that there's a whole family living in the house and threatens them that she'll send their recorded footage. Eventually, both the housekeeper and her husband fight the Kim family over the recorded footage, which indicates that the battle isn't between the rich and the poor. It's between the poor and the poorer. The Kim family's home is a semi-basement. They're partly on the top, but still partly at the bottom. They are the poor. Meanwhile, the previous housekeeper's husband has been living in a complete basement, completely underground, devoid of light. They are the poorer. And so the Park family decide to come back as it was heavily raining and their camp had flooded. So the Kim family throw the previous housekeeper and her husband back to the basement and the old housekeeper is brutally kicked below. The housekeeper's husband always clicks these buttons in order to welcome Mr. Park as a sign of respect for giving him home and food. And so the Kim family, except the mother, hide under the table. This is very intense as at any moment the Park family can uncover their true identity. During the scene, Mr. Park talks to his wife about smell, which is another theme of this movie, smell. Mr. Park constantly reminds Kim of his stature. He likes people who don't cross the line. The line represents the divide in class. Mr. Park wants people to stay behind that line and he wants to live in a zone of comfort. Poor Mr. Kim has to bear this as he is insulted. His smell isn't his smell, it is the odor of poverty. It reminds him of his place in the society, which fuels Kim's burning hatred towards Mr. Park. Then, as the Kim family evacuate the house when they go back to their house, they go down the stairs as if it's a sign of declining back to poverty. Absolutely brilliant. Unfortunately, their house starts to flood along with the other poor people. We see the struggle of the Kim family as they collect their prized possessions before evacuating the house. And as Kevin's rock floats to him, it's like he has found treasure among his flooding house. Now, you might be wondering about the metaphorical symbolism of this rock. I didn't get the first time either, but after doing some research, I figured it out. Kevin's rich friend Min had given him this rock and said that it brings material wealth as to whoever possesses it. Kevin's dream is for his family to be happy and for him to live a classy lifestyle. This film talks about hope. When Kevin sees this rock, it gives him hope that he'll one day be able to achieve his goal, which is why he carries it around everywhere. But when he takes it down to the basement using it as defense, the housekeeper's husband nearly kills him with it. It was all a lie. What was planted in Kevin's mind was false hope. The rock being a physical manifestation of false hope was previously hinted. Can you guess where? In this scene, if you notice that the rock floats to him, you know it's fake or else it wouldn't float, therefore making it a symbol of false hope. The next day, when Mr. Kim is along with Mrs. Park, helping her buy stuff for her son Da Song's birthday party, she talks about how the rain that occurred the previous day was a blessing. But then we see Mr. Kim's expression as he was clearly infuriated by this. The rain that brought the rich clear skies and no pollution was the same rain that flooded the poor's house with sewage water. 
This establishes the contrasting difference between the rich and the poor. If you notice, the stairs are a vital part of Parasite. The stairs represent the lower and upper hierarchy between the two classes. Even when Kevin has to walk to the Park family's house outside, he has to go up. It's metaphorically an uphill battle for the Kim family. Now, the reason why this film is called Parasite is because everyone uses everyone else. The Kim family leech off the Park family. But the former housekeeper and her husband have been leeching off the Park family for years. But there is another parasite. Can you guess who? It's Mr. Park. He treats his servants as objects, replaceable. His exaggerated disgust towards those beneath him makes him the true parasite of this film. Now the housekeeper's husband comes out of his bunker and straight up stabs Jessica. Now you might be wondering, why Jessica? Because she is sort of the Mr. Park of the Kim family. She seems suited to this rich lifestyle. Then, after the housekeeper's husband is killed, as the mother and Mr. Kim go to their dying daughter, Mr. Park asks Mr. Kim to throw the car keys, and so he does, but the keys fall below the dying husband. And so when the dying husband thanks Mr. Park, he doesn't even know who he is and still finds the time to show his disgust towards his kind by covering his nose. Mr. Kim sees this and is astonished. This is his breaking point. And so now we are ready to see this. A few years later, Kevin attempts to find his father and learns that he is in the basement. Then he makes a plan to become rich and buy the house so that his father can be free. Now, the director, Bong Joon-ho, could have stopped there, but no. He continues to prove that he's a brilliant filmmaker. We cut to Kevin's half-basement as we realize that all of this was a fantasy in Kevin's mind. And that he probably won't be able to rescue his father. But doesn't hurt to try. Thank you so much for watching. Now, this movie can be analyzed endlessly. I've only covered a fraction of this movie. So go watch other videos on this movie. Or make your own video. Anyway, subscribe to my channel. It helps out a lot as these videos take up a lot of time and effort to edit. Like this video and share it. Check out the channel. And until next time, I'll see you later.